love this is the bait. Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing. I know it's been a while, but I got a good one for you today. It's like really hot, middle of summer right now, 100 degrees during the day. So I went out to the lake and I tried these out. They're the Finesse Frog Z in white, and I had a new hook I wanted to try. They are the Owner Cover Shot in 2 aught. The Owner Cover Shot in 4 aught worked really well for those Pop Frog Zs. So I wanted to see if they'd work for these too. They rig up real nice. You just go right through the nose. You don't have to go in very far. And then this little monofilament keeper right here will hold the bait in place. So you don't have to use super glue or anything. These elastic baits are really slippery. All right, it's through. And then you just insert the hook point in the butt of the frog. And it's that easy. Now, as you can see, that hook point kind of points up a little bit. So it's not as weedless as like an EWG hook where it points level with the frog, but I was hoping it would get better hook sets. It has really good action in the water. Those legs kick like that, turns up lots of water. You can fish it slow, you can fish it fast. It's my favorite way to fish a, a frog on a BFS setup. So let me show you guys what I did at the lake with this little guy right here. Alrighty, y'all. I don't even know if you can see me. It's so dark. Got my big old thermos of coffee. We're gonna go try and get some of these guys before it gets too hot. It's already like really humid. I'm already starting to work up a sweat and it's it's really early. I think it's like 515. The sun's not even starting to come up yet. So I got my light there on my kayak behind us and we're gonna go try and catch some. I'll see you out on the water. think about that either. With the light, I'm getting surrounded by these little bugs. I'm getting lots of activity. Holy crap, that spooked the shit out of me. Wasn't much of a sunrise this morning. That's kind of sad. I only got one bite so far. Darn it, man. What in the world? Oh, it's a turtle. He was chasing it. I thought it was a bass. Big ears. Ooh, something spooked. Come eat it, come eat it, come eat it. Try another stupid turtle. Oh, no, that wasn't a turtle. There's bass up in there.
Got him. I'm not skunked. Oh, I am skunked. Oh, I shouldn't have been messing around so much with that little guy. Poor oh, little bass. I saw him chasing them minnows. Love it when they let me know where they are. I gotta tighten my drag. There we go. Right in front of that bird too. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's two I lost. I thought this was gonna be the ticket with this hook, but that's two bass I've already lost with it. That one was nicer too. That one missed it completely. They're fired up in there. Woo! Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Look at that. This hook sucks for this bait. As you can see, that was a bust. Missed four fish on this guy right here. It had some really exciting blow ups. I love fishing this frog with those feet. It kind of acts like a whopper plopper. You can fish it slow, you can fish it fast. It really had my adrenaline going, but the fish just, I don't know if they were too small or they just could not get that hook in the mouth. I started fishing with a 5-inch Seiko, wacky style. I noticed the fish were chasing minnows, and the minnows were not this big. So what I did is I went right in the middle of the worm, and I cut it in half. So now I have two, two and a half inch, almost like TRDs. The one that had the best action was the skinny end like this. I rigged it in the head of as the head of the minnow. So right through, come through past that monofilament keeper right there. And then when you insert the hook point, you don't let it come all the way through. You insert the hook point and then you just leave it in the worm. These Gary Yamamoto worms are so soft, um, it, it doesn't mess with the hookup ratio at all. I think I hooked and landed every fish that I hooked on this thing. Might have lost one, but this right here was the ticket. It's got such good action. This hook, the 2 ot is perfect for a little weightless TRD style uh, minnow imitating little bait like this. Let me show you guys some fish I caught on this guy right here. All right, let's go ahead and take one of these Kiri Yamamoto's. Cut it right in half. Let's just fish it like that. The cast good. That's one thing good about these Gary Yamamoto's. They have lots of weight to them. They're so heavy with salt. There's one. Oh, dang it. That freaked me out. Whew. 
Whew, I'm not messing around with you. I needed one in the boat. Well, that's probably why we've been missing them, is they are dinky. But that half a, half a Senko got her done. So I like this hook on a Senko. I don't know if I like it on the frog, you guys. It uh, missed, like, what, four fish already? But there's one in the boat. Woo. There's another one up in there. They are schooling. Maybe I can get two for two. Gotta make this cast count. There we go. That's a good cast. Oh, I think I just got a bite. Yep. This one's a little bit bigger. Whoo, two for two. Ooh, let's get out of this hole. There might be more than that in there. That one's a nicer one. Woo. Yes, sir. That's the ticket. You fish all morning to finally get a good one. Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing. Check this one out. That is a nice bass drop bass right there on the BFS. And yes, sir. So we finally figured it out. I don't think that hook works very well with them frogs, but it works really well as like, what do you call it? A weedless Ned rig, like a three inch Sanko. On the BFS, it casts well. It is a good bait right there. That's the ticket. This was my second fish, second cast. So that's two for two. It's summertime, got them feeding on them little tiny minnows. And sometimes when it gets hot, you just got to downsize a little bit and get them in the boat. Let's go ahead and put this one back. Woo, he's hyper. Woo. I just saw one jump over there. And this is straight blade, braid, no floral leader or nothing. And he still ate it. There's just something about BFS fishing. I don't know if it's the drag clicker. That just sounds so amazing to me. I love that sound. Or if it's the ability to cast little baits, the lightness of this setup is ridiculous. It feels like, I don't know, almost like a magic wand when you're out there fishing. It's so light, so sensitive. It's got 10 pound braid. I was fishing straight braid and I could feel everything, every little weed, every nick, every little bite, every nibble. It was so much fun. I love this setup right here. BFS fishing. When you get a chance in the middle of summer, downsize, slow things down, pick up a BFS setup. It's a lot of fun. I have the Curado BFS and it's a little pricey well worth it. This is probably my favorite setup that I use. I bring it along with me every single trip. I have it paired with the K1 Classic. Got it off of AliExpress. Um, I don't know how you feel about Chinese stuff. It's a decent rod. I really like it. When I got this rod, you could not find BFS rods in the, in the States. They were just impossible to find. Um, there are a couple manufacturers now that sell a decent one, so I might go ahead and see if I can upgrade later, but for now, this is my favorite setup. So awesome. And paired with these really light baits, just made it so much fun on the water. And that extra weight on the Senko really helps cast in the wind. Got him. He's barely hooked. Oh my gosh, look how skin hooked he is. Dang. Wow, y'all, I should have lost that fish. That's crazy. Look how easy that came out. <laughs> and he took my bait. Whew, that was fun. Ready to go back, guy? Oh, he is. What's cool about fishing like this is you get two Sankos for the price of one. This is just the other half right here. Got 
got that one. Oh, that was awesome. Yes. Dang, that's the skinny one. That's the skinniest bass of the day. And another one shot out too when I hooked that one. Whoo -wee. I hooked him good too, right there in the roof of the mouth. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, those Yamamoto Senkos are so soft. That little tiny hook had no problem getting through. Even with that tiny little bass, he had no weight. Golly, he's so skinny. Look at that big old mouth, tiny little body. That's a bass drop summer bass right there. These clouds are nice though. It's not super hot. And it's probably keeping these fish biting. Oh, not in the reeds. There we go. I cast that right on those fish. That was that's fun. I love it when they hit it as soon as it hits the water. Holy crap, did you see that? <laughs> wow. He almost jumped in the boat. Dang it. Say what you will, but this BFS rod is pretty darn strong. Look at that. And that's 10 pound braid. jumped right in the boat right in the tongue yes sir another super skinny one wow these bass in the summer do not do well need more bluegills in this lake or something well y'all we found the trick we've been getting some bass and they are super skinny look at this little guy poor little bass drop bass but we found the ticket, we found what they're hunting. They're hunting these little minnows. That's probably why he's so skinny, because these minnows aren't very big. And we just downsized the bait, slowed it down a little bit, and that summer bite is on. It's getting pretty hot. The sun is like up there, probably 9, 30, 10 o'clock right now. So let's go ahead and get this guy back. Revive him a little bit. Woo! And he just went right back into the weeds. Yes, sir. That's a lot of fun. Just in case that's my last fish, I'm going to shoot an outro right now. Thanks for watching. Remember to fish, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one.